Jacksonville, Florida. You yeah, already know what time it is. Duval right. County. Yeah. Jack Town. You, you know already know what time it is, man. It's the 85 South Show, September 11th. Where we going? The Basta Veterans Arena. We hey. coming live, so get your tickets. You already know what it is, yeah. man. I was just there a couple weeks ago at Dracula's Lair, and all y'all said y'all was coming, man. So make sure you get your tickets. September 11th. 11th. Jacksonville, Florida. Duval County. What are we doing when we going down to Duval? 85 uh -huh. South Dakota's podcast. September 11th. Duval Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Come and bike. Duval, we come and bike. September 11th. Jacksonville, we come and bike. Duval County. Bike Star Veterans Arena. Get your tickets. We see y'all on September 11th. We got our first married couple in here tonight. Woo-woo! Yeah, we in the building. <laughs> I like being the first. That's it. This is going to end up being our first episode of Black Love. Okay. We on the Black Love segment. I like that. That's what's up. Carlos, you all for Black Love? I'm all for it. I know your slogan, Black Men Don't Cheat. Right. That's right. Because Black That's right. Men, we don't get to express how we see love. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, nobody never asked Black men. No. Like, we haven't had one... One love story movie from a black man's perspective. That's not true. I'm, I'm telling you. A black love story from a black man's perspective? From a black man's perspective. Well, we watch, um... Maybe from a black man, but a nigga ain't told his story yet. That might be true. Yeah. But what about Hustle and Flow? Mm-mm. That was a black man perspective. I felt like that was more about the love of the game. Mm -hmm. That's true. That, he might be right. We only get flashes. What and about Boomerang? That, that was a romantic comedy. He was getting taught a lesson. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I know one. I know a good one, and it's a comedian. Chris Rock. I think I love my wife. There you go. I think I love my there wife. There you go. Yeah? Yeah, we had that on the other day. We watched it We sure that. did. Yeah. Yeah. I was getting all type of dirty looks. Mm-hmm. You better not. Don't even think about it. Yeah, it's hard watching movies now. <laughs> Stop thinking about everything I see. Do I? I'm so east side Detroit. It. I'm so east side Detroit. This is a free space. <laughs> this is a safe space. Yeah, it's very safe. Are we able to, can I get real ghetto? You can get real ghetto. Okay, because I don't I see it. Okay, I love you. I don't see an ashtray, so I you use sometimes my... Right oh, oh, and you got that oh, little good. fly one. Yeah, it Matches the table. Shit. Okay, don't tell anybody I did Man, the candle. we can still get hood. Yeah. And you know, because that's just how we do. That's it. Yeah. We want to keep it real black in here. Yes. I'm talking about Soul Train Award Black. I like that. Yeah. That's black, black. Yeah. How long have you been smoking, Carlos? How long have I been smoking? Yeah. Shit. This is my anniversary. It's been 20 years. 20 years. It's 20 years. Oh. Yeah. It's a celebration. 20 years. 20 years. But you're not right. That means you stopped when you were 12? 18. You're 38? Mm-hmm. And I'm special. You are? Like 38 special. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Your beard looks so grown. It's so full now. 38? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and 38 hitting there. That's how mine was. Then I said, I need to go back down to like 35, cut it down. Yeah, but it looks nice. Yeah, you look sexy. You hit them with the young shit. Yeah. Man, fuck it, you know. I had, I had it gone for a minute. That's the age, man. You can always knock a few years off. A little facial hair. Yeah. Yeah. You won't let me dye it, though. No. No. Why would you I see your little salt and pepper coming in. You know. I know, because I show mine, too. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck I don't mess up my lace front, but... Yeah, I feel you. All of it ain't blue. They trying to run us off, man. Uh-huh. I was watching the Lakers trade today. That's why I put my LeBrons on. And they was like, this is the old school. I was like, I'm old and all these motherfuckers. Right. Loving them. Right. Loving it. Yeah. They try to run us out, man. <laughs> they just ready to retire us so early. I really just got grown. Just got grown. Yeah. Not too long ago. Me too. Not too long ago when I got married. What? <laughs> Ain't that about nothing. <laughs> Look at God, why do it? So what, what made you grown? Shit, 38? <laughs> you ain't really officially grown till you get 35. See, I, 
35 is a good number. That's I'm talking true. about that's your, when you're 35, like 25, you grow. Right. But 35 is like, okay, you really you grow. grow. So and 40, you like, don't give a fuck. I'm 43. 40, I, don't I feel really like by don't the give time a fuck. you 40, you professionally grow. Yeah. 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 But then when you like 44, you what they call grown as hell. I'm almost grown as hell. January 2nd, I'll be grown as hell. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Grown as hell hit different. Right. Because you can start your conversation off with they be like, first of all, I'm grown as hell. <laughs> and it hit different. Everything you say Ain't after that. Long. Let's motherfuckers know that you mature and grown as hell. You're at least 44. And I'm telling you, when you over 30, when you 38 and up, mm -hmm. that's grown ass man. Because we black men, you know, our mortality rate higher than everybody. We can claim ours a little earlier. Right? That's true. But what makes you grown is not just the number though, right? I feel like when you paying all your bills and a few bills that ain't got shit to do with you, that's when you grow up. Yeah, there we go. I'm talking about bills that you ain't, you don't even know where these bills go. Yeah, they just get paid. But they your bills because you a grown ass man. That's it. Yeah. When you put them on auto pay, that's it. Let me tell you, that's you being a mom. Shit, shit. I've been that's doing that exactly since. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, first born. All right, grown I'm 46, so I've been a grown ass man for a long ass time. 46. 46. You up there, buddy. You at that age where you can fall asleep anywhere and can't nobody say nothing. And he does. Because a 46-year-old black man, you don't have to explain nobody why you died. Nothing. 46 years of living Nothing. in America. Look. And he does. Just Give me five up. minutes. I'll be right here like this. That's why I want you to lean back. <laughs> yes, yeah, and yeah, he does. Sit up. Let's sit up. Let's sit up. <laughs> he, he does. But he earned that. He did. Shit. I wish Martin Luther King was still alive. For real. <laughs> I do. I think about that shit when I be smoking. I just wonder what kind of old school nigga he would have been. Hmm. Do you think Bill Cosby went off with that pound cake speech? Just, just imagine if Martin Luther King was here to see all this shit. No, this ain't what I was talking about. I ain't said nothing about none of this shit y'all doing. I got this shit fucked up. I just would have loved to see him grow to be an old, angry black man. For real. And we'd have been showing him love too. Like, I right, don't even worry about it. No, what, shit would have been different if he was still alive. Martin Luther King going live on Facebook 2 o'clock to talk about the white video. He just saw Carter B new video. He mad. You ain't right. I would love to see him on there debating with goddamn Dr. Umar. <laughs> <laughs> Them little t-shirts would have had him mad as hell. We are not our ancestors. You couldn't have been. <laughs> Your young ass don't know a goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah, that's some Martin Luther beat. King's still supposed yeah, to be right. here. I don't give a fuck yeah. what nobody say. That's right, 100%. That's how I feel about Michael Jackson. But then I'm a woman. You know, the moment you find out that Michael is gone, you're like, well, how am I going to explain this to my kid? My theory. Michael Jackson was Jesus. <laughs> what you smoking? The shit you gave me. <laughs> there we go. Think there about we go. This, the Think about this. <laughs> Michael Jackson dead and gone, right? Mm -hmm. It's little kids, little babies that's two or three years old that nobody ever said, that's Michael Jackson. And they know that's Michael Jackson. I'm trying to tell you, my baby was only like two when he died, but she knew everything about him by the time she was five. Told you. It's like, wait, he's been dead a few years ago, and I really didn't explain him to you, so how do you know so much about Michael? But, yep. Yeah. Why you ain't never dropped that gospel album? When we seen you singing on the show, we thought for sure some, you owe us one song, at I least. Cause I you had America crying. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't think I really wanted to do gospel Shit, music, but I was raised up in the you church. You should've sung something. You're right. That shit was powerful, even if it was happy birthday. You're right. But you know what? It was so hard you back then. Them? It was. I do sing. I mean, I have a song that's on Apple right now, FNL, Fall in Love. You guys can go and download it, actually, not just on Apple, on all music outlets. You can get that. But I started off as a reality star, and back then, because that was like in 2006, once you come out as something, they kind of box you in and they don't really allow you. It's different now, but back then, if you were that, it was like, okay, yeah, you can sing. We heard you on the show. No, and you, could, you could sing. Thank you. Sing. Thank you. That was singing. And you fucked America up with that one, because it's been a little minute since we've seen some singing. 
Like every now and then, you'll catch a little singing on TV. That's like, nah, true. fuck that. She's slanging. Thank you. <laughs> Ariana Grande snuck a little singing on their ass. You remember oh. she was at that funeral? She's so cold. And then they, she was like, go on up there and sing, Ariana. Then she fucked around and got up there and started singing. And they were like, who little girl is that? <laughs> she can sing. Ariana Cole. She, we didn't Ariana know she can sing, though. Should Adele be singing? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, Christina Aguilera got a good voice. Who? Oh, really? Christina Aguilera? She fuck, that woman can she'll fuck sing. around and get to singing. Yeah, she can sing. Hell yeah. Yeah. There's a few little singers out there now. Mm-hmm. Are y'all ready to start the show? Hey, welcome back to the 85 yeah. Song Show. Woo! We're just, we're just kidding me, man. You know. You talking grown folks shit. I feel so grown because I'm on this show. Like, I watch this at home. Man, you I like in the man cave. I built my husband a man cave at our house. Because he's Every so man sweet. Every yeah. man need one. Every man need one. Once he, you know, let me know, babe. You know, I like to keep it prestigious, but I like to also. I was like, Santana? See, I feel like both of y'all are like hood legends. For real? For different shit. Like I'm saying, like, <laughs> the world saw you on, on the Flavor of Love shit. And then, bro, you had one of the most interesting stories. They just made a whole movie about this shit. Still, still being real active in the community. The movie was dope, first of all, man. What was your reaction when you saw it and you having to look at it and be like, man, that kind of happened, but it didn't? Because you know they had to move it a little bit. Nah, it was, um, Avon was very transparent right. in letting us be involved in the whole process. Okay. Storytelling, reading the script, editing sessions, being on set. So even if we felt, felt something wasn't right, we was able to go to her and she would correct it. Oh, I bet. You know what I'm saying? Dope. And so that was dope. Oh, hold on, let me introduce y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Santanas. <laughs> what up, though? What's up? My man, Raymond Santana. Yeah. This lovely wife, London Delicious Santana. Oh, that is so cool. Somebody we never like gonna stop calling life. you that. Thank you, Delicious. Yeah, exactly. I like Delicious. I told you you was a hood legend, and when you got a nickname <laughs> in the hood, you always that. Right. Yeah. You can grow, you can go to be the first lady. We still be like, Delicious! Hello. <laughs> and she still be like, what's up? Yes, what, what that's up, though? She gonna play like, shut up. It's it's <laughs> no, she be like, what up, though? She, yes. She, she give it up. I love it. He call me D. For real? Yeah, he definitely call me D. You his wife. He probably call you a whole lot of shit. Oh, it depends on the mood. Yeah, you just got to see what you can get away with sometimes. I need my little octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Be my damn pet name, octopus. That's your girl pet name? Hell no. Oh. I'm looking for a girl with an octopus. <laughs> Wait, I'm not like that. You lies all them hands. He's talking about octopus. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's kind of You have all those hands just be all over you. Yeah. See? Yeah. You have. However you flip it, you can make that shit work. Yeah, you make it work. Yeah. You octopus late on the night. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Need some water. This is us. This is how we do. This is how we do. Man, it just seemed yes. like y'all just really enjoy each other's company and shit like that. Y'all be on the we ground. We be stuck in the house. Y'all be making my man jump in TikTok videos and all type of shit. Man, you in a house full of girls, man. Yes. Full of girls. You don't never get to go to the bathroom, do you? <laughs> It's like women just be in the bathroom just to be in there. It's like Everywhere. they got some shit under the cabinet. He goes to the bathroom something. the most, actually. Look, I go to the bathroom, come back, and they in the bed. Man. I'm like, how this happen? It's 3 yeah, in the morning. Yeah, they take over our room. When did the kids come down and just jump in the bed at 3 in the morning? See? <laughs> That's when you're 46. <laughs> <laughs> you get in the bed, it's a bed full of motherfuckers. You just got to find your corner. That's it. That's it. Find That's a spot. It's part of being the daddy, man. It you just got to take whatever left. Yeah. <laughs> I said, what you going to tell them, get out? You going to tell an 11-year-old, get out the bed. She was no, the like, pandemic Please. did that to us, though. It's hard That's as fuck to wake was. up an 11-year-old. Oh. oh. My son 12, it's like, when they sleep, I, be, I don't know if I need to call somebody or what. Like, what the fuck was you doing last I night? I call London. I be like, go get her. Go get her. She not getting up. I will up. go to another room, because she won't get up. Yeah. She won't get up. So. Yeah. But she starts school tomorrow. That's what's up. Kids going back Thursday to middle school. So but yeah. shit, now it look like they might shut this shit back down. So too. I'm worried. She has to sit in the school for eight to ten hours in a mask. That's a long ass time. That's a long time. I don't like to be in a mask at all. I know we need it. That's why we stay in the house. Unless we have to be out for work or anything. 
and we keep it in the crib. I ain't going outside for shit. Yes, we don't go outside. Going in everything. That's how I started smoking weed. Yeah. I used to hate weed. What? I used to tell my my brother they here. Look, the, all three of them looking yep. like. Yep. They high as fuck. They laughing when you say that. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, but they know growing up, I didn't play. Uh, I, I mean, my thing was education, be respectful and clean. And I thought weed was Dirty. none of the above. Dirt. Weed, weed I just teach you how to be disrespectful. respectful. You get high, you will not even speak to the motherfuckers you don't like. Mm. <laughs> That's respect right there. <laughs> you got to be respectful if you smoke weed. How you going to get some weed? I thought Ain't nobody gonna sell you no weed, you disrespect. Hey man, bring the weed outside! <laughs> Don't bring your boy back. <laughs> How much you want for this? It's too much. Oh, oh here you go. You gonna, gonna weigh my shit again? Come on. <laughs> then me, I buy weed from you every day. <laughs> so if I buy two, can I get a third one for free? No. Mm-mm. That's how it go, right? We always yeah. win the deal. We didn't make you grow up, though, because I told you, it really just make you focus on the shit that you like. And the shit that you don't like, you can't even really fuck with it. It's so far away, it's like, yeah, well, whatever. No, that's what they should have said, because I, that's not what I thought weed was about. So when you started smoking weed, what did you learn about yourself? Because that's that the I've first... been fucking missing out. Exactly! Because, so you know I did Morning Show Radio back home in Detroit. Right. And my two co-stars... Foolish. Foolish. That is the ambassador of weed. Hello. And Big Greg, Bucket exactly. Naked. They wake up, but these are men with degrees. They smell good. They look good. You know, they have households and families. So when I see them coming in, like, we in the studio, 5.30 a.m., they light up early in the morning. Like, they have it for breakfast. Yeah. They have it on, you know, so talking So they had breaks. to be there at 5.30. They probably start smoking around 3 or 4, 3.30, at least 3.45. That's crazy. Right. <laughs> but you're probably right. Yeah. But they function just fine. I mean, they, so weed that makes started. makes simple shit yeah. better. Smoke some weed and take a shower. Oh, I love it. It feel like motherfuckers is doing this on your back. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you have. When them goddamn shower drops start feeling like little fingers on your back, you'll be in that motherfucker for 30 minutes. Yeah. It can also make you creative, too. Make me creative. Yeah, hell, you go in the refrigerator. you start putting <laughs> shit together. <laughs> Not only will you feed yourself, you'll make a little lunch. I got the sandwich and the fruit cocktail. <laughs> Last little bit of chips that did nobody want and a juice. It's healthy and it's going to do the trick. <laughs> exactly. You start making a five Good ass ideas. Yeah. 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 We to make you start making a list, too, in your mind. You start making your little list because you high and you don't want to do shit. You be like, I'm going to get up, I'm going to the kitchen, I'm going to go to the bathroom first. I'm grab my cover, then I'm coming right back. <laughs> Ready, break. And it's just... Why everybody on that wall shaking their head in the grid? Because they know. <laughs> yeah, they know. Yeah, they... I'm still wanna... a beginner. I, maybe I haven't gotten to that point. It's people who don't smoke weed that make us keep smoking weed. Yes. Hell yes. Because I'm trying to convince my mom to start. And she's not with it. But... She done smoked weed before. That's what you don't know. She don't, my mom? She don't understand. Yeah, when she smoked, it was reefer. You gotta let her know it's not the same weed that's been brown. She's so Christian. I don't. Well, you know what? Hey. Them Christian ladies smoke weed. Why you think they always had to tell them what page to turn to in the Bible? Because that's where old ladies keep their joints. <laughs> okay. You're probably right. I know I'm right. <laughs> what now? Oh, hold on. I got them something in Genesis. I can't read Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> We started, we got her on some CBD stuff. Yeah, we, we started her early, got we some started CBD. Early, nice yeah. and easy. How's she liking it? No, she like it. Yeah. Some of that CBD, it have <laughs> adverse effects, though. Like, you don't be high, mm -hmm. but you be somewhere wondering if you high. Yes. <laughs> like, we is gave it, her an edible, and that it? didn't do right. She was going to poop on the couch. No, the fuck, no, nah, don't yes. give her that. Don't she didn't her. know if she could get up to... Well, do you, have you had an edible? Do, yeah. you eat, do you do edibles? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. I, I have to be at home and somebody watching me because if you know I'm out, I'm going to the emergency room. Uh, I might the call only the thing police about them shits is you have to just let yourself know before you start eating them. No matter what the fuck happened, 
ain't nothing really happening. No, yes. No, you are absolutely right. Now, if you start believing this shit is happening, then it's You go call the police. But yeah. if you eat that shit and be like, mm-mm, ain't no way. And I don't think you should do it in public if you're not really, you know, like, comfortable with it. No, I think you should. Some people need to be in public so they can know. I was, at, I I I was at live on the laughing. radio, and I couldn't. It was time for me to talk. I started crying. <laughs> yeah, like the edible shit is like serious. You gotta be ready for that. You a lady though. Your body chemistry might have took that shit the wrong it way. It did so many. I went through <laughs> five emotions in two minutes. I ain't never been over here high enough to just be crying about some shit. Yeah, so what was? Except one time, I was half watching the Color Purple, <laughs> and I just, I just couldn't take that shit no more. <laughs> what was bothering? That you? part where he would, where he hid all them letters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Find a letter. In the flow. Oh, in the shit. box. <laughs> that was the part right there for me. He had to do that shit. <laughs> and he, he left the money there, too. Yes. Who was it? Her and she over, gave She over there struggling. Yeah. He, he, had, he got all the he good. $45, $5 bills from Miss C. Lee. <laughs> that was enough money for her to start her own life. You see, when she got it, she bought a whole goddamn bill. Yeah, travel this company. Is, and you know she paid extra for it because uh -huh. she was black and they didn't want black people on this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, he fucked the money up. He did. He did a lot of bullshit. Man. But yeah, we just make all this shit better. J-O-N, you does. high right now because you ain't even playing no fucking background music or nothing. I'm about to fire him, though. Is this, I'm about to let him go. Because first of all, We've been having all these people come through here. He been cutting side deals like G Money. Oh. Now he done cut me back. I can barely oh. get an instrumental jack? play, bro. <laughs> bro, he played me, two, played me two little half instrumentals, man. <laughs> me and him used to do 12 songs at a time. Oh, wow. Just to cut me all the way off. Keeping all the good shit for his album. Am I my brother's keeper? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. You see what he had to do to G Money? Yeah. G Money was at the He had to do that to him. I hated him for that. No, he had to shoot G Money. G -Money he had to up. shoot him? Right. G -Money. Why you why you think he had to shoot him? You can't run a fucking crack empire with a crackhead. No, but you should put him in rehab. Nope. You just put him in rehab. He gotta tell all the business. As soon as yeah. he get clean. It was me, Nino Brown, uh, <laughs> dude working the bank, <laughs> Keisha. Dutter man, he can't talk. He, he innocent. Uh, 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 yeah, cash money records. You had to come do the building. We take your ID, and then your crack come up like you're at the ATM. He would have told the whole thing. I know, but Nino still keep the money and everything. Uh, you want to talk to Nino? Want to talk to Nino? See? So is that what rehab does to uh crack? I don't know. I ain't never been to rehab. All the shit I do, I do just enough. Uh, I ain't never went excess, excessive with anything. Yeah. Except working. Me too. But they don't have no rehab for that. What's your, they don't. What's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. I love you. Tell Jesus like family. My daughters, all Aries. Girl. Mm -hmm. April 8th, April 16th. They're the 16th. best people. We the most. Don't give a fuck. Most giving a fuck people. Like, we don't give a fuck. But we do at the same time. That's, that's so true. Yeah, that that's, is, them. that's Yeah, that's yeah. them. Damn. Yeah. But all if we don't, people. like, once we like, OK, there's no coming back. Yeah. Yeah. We can respectfully leave you the fuck alone like we ain't never met you before. That's and a Capricorn trait, too. Yeah, just like, okay, we're we gonna get through this one. Yeah. But after this one, I don't know you no more. Yeah. When's your birthday? April 2nd. Me and Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's how we live. <clears throat> nice. I ain't know y'all really be watching this show like this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We yes. I told you, now that I smoke, I be down there. I'm in the sports. 85 South. Yep. Turn that on. You saw that one already. I didn't see the whole thing. You gotta watch it. Turn Every it time on. you watch it, it's some new shit pop yes. up. Yes. Like be a, the gargoyle when you jumped off the couch. I, I swear, I did it in my basement. <laughs> I jumped with you. Yes, because they made you do it a few times. That <laughs> shit had me rolling. No, the, part the, one, the one when he was like, um, you asked her, how old are you? And she said she was 30. 32 or something. 32. Shit. You yeah. said, yo, put some trash. 
That was classic. We rewinded that about six times. He rewinded he said, it. I'm 43, so I said, what the fuck? And he cracking up. He kept rewinding it. Your pussy trash. I said, you act like you practicing that. Because he kept rewinding it. Your pussy trash. I said, okay, don't rewind that shit no more. What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. I just be talking shit. We had, that was one of the wildest shows. Mm hmm No, so is that the one with the head? That's the one with the with the lesbian chicks. No, the one with the head was so crazy. The guy with the big head. Oh, that's front. DC. Y'all didn't let him front. live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got on him. We talked <laughs> shit at all these shows. We had a show. <laughs> what was we at? Biloxi with the old white lady? Yes. Man. DC done turned her up. Yeah. No, that was funny. We watched them. We we stay having them on. Yeah. That's what this show is for, man. That's like, we want to be the Saturday morning cartoons. Right. When you wake up and you pack him in the living room, just even if you can't <laughs> hear that shit, it's just something about seeing us up there. Just make the house hit different. No, we do. I do. Then we catch him, turn it on, start listening to it. Then the kids walk in, then she goes, Yo, turn it, turn it. I'll be like, turn it off. Turn it off, the kids is in the room. My 11-year-old, she trying to sneak in on them 85 South shows. Oh, the kids, black, kids, black children watch this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Babies and everything. People be sending those videos, their baby just be looking from the side of the car seat. <laughs> then they hear the cuss word, they be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Babies know what's going on. <laughs> this, I'm telling you, this show is a phenomenon. All kind of people watch this shit. Black yeah. people, white people, especially the ones who don't have no white people friends, <laughs> they love this shit. Right. Gangsters, thugs, people who work at the courthouse. And the saints, because my saint. mama watched. People who work for the city, pastors. Everybody. You know everybody who worked at used car lots, they, walk, they play this down there. Barbershops, beauty salons, uh, beauty supply stores. Those barbershops in the mall mm -hmm. that, that play all that loud ass shit with the cousin now play no uh, unedited, they play this shit. <laughs> That's what's up. This is just places I seen it on there. I've been places and they watching this shit, not serving me, mm -hmm. not knowing that they watching me. <laughs> that calls for the discount. <laughs> for real. Uh-uh. Easy. I don't even ask for the discount, because then you got to do too much shit. <laughs> right, for that. Yeah, for that. I went Take to the picture, Wendy's. I'm, I don't even never be thinking people know me. I'm at Wendy's trying to order my shit, nigga, and manager peeking behind the back. Hell no, look, come here. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not coming back here, man. Man, you can come back here, bro. <laughs> I'm going back there. I be going back there. We can't yeah. go back there. Throw the hat you on and everything. be cooking. Yeah, what y'all want? I don't know how to cook, but we're going to make this happen. <laughs> Don't put me back there, start burning. <laughs> this shit's so crazy, man, because people watch this shit and they'll just, they just know you to them and they just go places and you never know who the fuck it is. I just go try to check in the hotel. The girl be like, mm, I know who you is, but you still can't check in. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Why, why does she have to leave with that? This person? Let me in this motherfucker. <laughs> well, I'm going to sleep on this couch. Wake me up. That's it. When my room is ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that type of nigga. I be tired as fuck. Landing early and then the room ain't ready. Oh yeah, I hate that. They talking about checking in at three o'clock. Like, bitch, I'll be ready to go at three o'clock. No, I be asking, can I go help them? <laughs> I seriously do. You be clean your own room up? I do it anyway. <laughs> I clean up for the cleaning company when they come. Him and my kids be so mad. Yeah. I wake him up. Yup, come on. The cleaning people are on the way. Make your beds. Do this. Like. And the kids be looking like, so why we got cleaning people for? But I have a, <laughs> we got clean our bed. But I have OCD. And that's a condition that I, I wish I had a little bit more control over, but I you don't. Keep so. smoking. You gonna stop this shit. No, oh, it shit. actually. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold up, wait a minute. No, do you know that weed Give actually makes second. it worse? <laughs> we'll be down there in the man cave, and the man cave is supposed to be like the men. So I was supposed to be chill. Yeah. Soon as the weed kick in, I'm like, y'all stop the pause the pause the show. Get the vacuum cleaner real quick. No, nah, it's the man bit. cave. It's supposed to be draws in that mother. All that, like, man. Yeah, that. yeah, we yeah. tell her that. No, I stop every 30 minutes. Oh man. <laughs> Don't be complaining. <laughs> Look. 
You about to walk in the man cave scratching your neck. <laughs> no. If I told somebody scratch no, me next to that man cave, they couldn't come back. Nah, man, I'm I would make. <laughs> Look, our man cake smell like Fabuloso, man. Yes. <laughs> Hell no. That's, yes. that's killing the homie. Every 30 minutes, we have to stop for a vacuum <laughs> and wipe down. The man cake is supposed to smell like. Uh uh. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all doing in here? <laughs> we'll smell like weed. Uh, that's it. And we got full bars. Like Fabuloso and Windex. Yeah. Man, <laughs> shit. All them chemicals gonna kill some goddamn body. Yeah, so we put the ventilation system now, so. <laughs> They won't, but yeah, I like to clean up. And when I smoke weed, it make me do it a little bit more. Or well, I get, get stuck. You ever get high and watch your movie? Nah, I couldn't do it. I tried, it didn't work. It make his high go down. Yeah, it, it didn't work. I start, it, it just becomes so deep. I start overanalyzing, I can't do it. I won't make it. Damn, man. I can't do it. I don't even watch it now. For real? Yeah. The once is enough. Yeah, one. I had to see it a couple of times. I've seen it about maybe four times, and that was it for me. Damn. Yeah. So after that, I don't watch it. Yeah. Man, that's a hell of a story. Tell me about the shirt. <clears throat> that's a good one. Uh, yeah. I created that shirt when I was high too. It was crazy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> see? Yeah. Um, created. I created a company called Park and Madison because um. When I lived in Harlem, I lived on um, 111th Street between Madison and Park, right? And so, for me as a little boy, as a 14-year-old kid, I loved to sketch. And when I went to prison, I kind of lost that drive. And so throughout the years, I tried to reclaim it. And I just couldn't, dealing with too much other shit. Yeah. And so, it wasn't until after exoneration, I was sitting down with a good friend of mine, and he said, um, what you gonna do now? You know, you, you got exonerated, you won the civil suit from the city, you can go and live your life. And I felt at that point, I had time to try to reclaim my passion. Hell yeah. And that's how I created it. You mean what you gonna do? Whatever the fuck I want to. <laughs> that was it. Man, do some, do some <laughs> shit you can't even. Ride a giraffe, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> do, all, do all the shit. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Do every goddamn thing. Definitely. Wear cowboy boots sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just pick you a weird ass outfit and wear that bitch sometime. Just dress like a whole goddamn bullfighter. So give me that idea. That and everything. Fuck it. Yes. Fuck it. Nigga, they ain't want to see a nigga do yeah, it. Yeah, we can do a dope TikTok like that. See, do it. TikTok. Yeah. Just, just buy outfits and don't even explain them to people. Yeah. <laughs> Full fucking outfits in places you ain't never worked there before. Oh, we got that some fun. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> shit. Oh, I'm finna fuck y'all up. <laughs> I've been saving up some outfits. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm dressing like the nigga that put the luggage on the plane. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Where you get that color from? Don't worry about it. That African lady made it for me. <laughs> I got some jeans with 50 pockets on them. I can't wait to wear them. <laughs> just, just waiting on a little bit more confidence to kick in. <laughs> I'm giving these niggas chances to get their outfits together. Don't ask me nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> Where would you want? What? Mm. I got the do-rag coming out with the earphone hose. I'm all kind of shit. <laughs> I'm going stupid. That's creative, bro. Definitely. Creative. That's how you do it. Hell yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I got the um, I got some shit coming out for the ladies. It's a bra with a phone charger in it. I figure if they're gonna put their phone in their bra anyway, might as well charge it. Charge it at the same time. Well, what about they won't get shocked or No, nah, it's a little pocket. Mm -hmm. Cause it's gonna fit right in the tent. Well, how are you gonna charge it? It's a little thing in the Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It's in recharge, but I gotta plug it up to the socket. Mm -mm. So when she's not using it, she can take it off and no, charge it. It's in the bra. Like a pre-charge? It's like, okay, a regular bra. Yeah. But it got like a, a phone pocket. Like in the pocket, mm -hmm. that's where it's charging it. You feel me? And it's, oh. it's, it's, it's back power. So when she walk in, you know, it's like the I motion. I think you should try it on men first, though. The motion? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, with like don't. a tank top version. I don't think women are gonna. Because we already have breasts, and then you have the pocket. Think about it. And women go out, right? Where they keep their phone at? I don't, but I know what you mean. Might as well charge that bitch. My thing was just if she got to take it off and charge it, you walk in and be like, six bras, just charge it. 
Well, how about just a cord in the bra and she could just count it? Click it. How about y'all don't make decisions on She's sitting on the couch like this and she have it clicked up, just charging while she talking. I don't no. know. No. All right, fuck that then. Yeah. All right, how about this? <laughs> how about this? For the fellas then, how about some drawers that clean your balls? As you wear them, it's got like a sit. pocket in it. I can see just like the way I clean my balls. Get, the cleaner your balls get. <laughs> That's just right. That will not work. Start moving around the house more. Like, no. What's wrong with you? Cleaning my balls. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> exactly. No. That'll work. That'll go. No. Stefan, write that idea now. Go no. Ahead. You're not good. <laughs> now your, your, your drawers are wet. No, it ain't even about, it's not that. I mean, we, could, we could do like some kind of dry fit technology. I'm sure the engineers at Nike already have the technology. It's just not being used for that. I'm sure we could probably like substitute like a Dr. Scholl's. You know, they can make your feet smell good. I know they can do something for your boss. Well, I'm different. I think if it ain't wet, it ain't washed. Like, I don't like that like dry cleaning. I don't even like dry shampoo because <clears throat> I don't. I don't know how that works. It's, it's some kind of gel technology that so we can develop. We can, we can figure it out. Yeah. Like, do you think that when you use a hand sanitizer, if your hands are dirty, that that's cleaning your hands completely without water? I mean, I thought that that's exactly what they made it for. No, it's a sanitizer. So, like, a lot of people, like, if you were working on a car, for example, some people will just take a bottle of the little hand sanitizer and clean the oil off of their hands. First, and then wash it. No, that's what I'm saying. Some people use it as in a one step. If it ain't water, it ain't washed. That's the same thing with your balls and drawers without water. That's not But washed. I'm saying, like, I'm not saying you would just throw these drawers on the dirty balls. I'm saying to prevent <laughs> dirty balls from being the dirtiest balls they could that. be. No, I like that. I'm saying, like, that a preventative is, dirty yeah. balls. You wouldn't wait like till your mesh. balls are already just... dirty and be like, uh-oh, let me put my pepper on. <laughs> no. clean my balls. I'm saying, like, at the beginning of the day, like, fresh out, shoo, shoo, I'm just chilling, going to the man cave. Might as well keep these balls on that. 98%. That's it. Can't drop the 60. <laughs> exactly. No. That's You're walking, not wait a minute, them balls is at 50%. Like, you need um, to put them drawers on. A real ball cleaner? <laughs> not a cleaning substance. Yes. Like the ball maintenance, like preventative maintenance. That is not, no, that's not gonna work. No. Oh, all right. It's not gonna work. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would. No. Just like, you know, but see, you don't get to be the ambassador. We we scrapped titties because you you had a point. Why right? about you just yeah. stay out women's business? Okay, fine. I own balls, though. You can tell me what I need in the ball. No, but now I own balls. Have you balls. seen the ball? I own balls. Ain't hey, nothing on that motherfucker. <laughs> I own balls. So I have to, you know, make sure. Own the shit on the ball. And you got to talk to somebody. You need something for your balls. <laughs> Say what now? <laughs> Son, right? You working with a pair, so you Yeah, you, you I gotta... clean his balls, like, Man, with my hands. You don't understand. And I, I can't imagine him approaching me saying, let's right, get it on. So you. after I get him clean, if, 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 if we use that, like, dry fit actually... technology, it'll just stay fresh. Bruh, you... I'm not gonna lick your balls. That's how you know no. he really loves you. If there's no he water. He trusts you to clean his balls. I don't even want women doing nothing extra with my balls because y'all have the balls so rough. <laughs> oh, I don't know what y'all think balls is made out of, but women handle your balls so rough, you feel like your voice about to rock out in, in your throat. No. Huh, come here. Hey, 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 hey relax, hey. man, buddy. What the fuck was that? You don't scrub balls with no goddamn loofah. <laughs> that ball skin is thin. That's that skin thin. You don't be that rough with no balls. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck balls is made out of, but I'm pretty sure that balls and brains is made out of the same material. Because as soon as you, I'm talking about, it's a it's a pain in your body that you didn't even know was a part of your body. Get hit in both nuts at the same time. You were like, it, it'll lock your foot up. Man, I say nothing. I'm telling you. Well, I'm never, have no, I injured them? No, 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 no. I think I've you been have, gentle. However but I've been gentle, making mental However like gentle you being, gentler. <laughs> he only, he, okay, okay, they're clean, 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 they're clean. Stop, 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 they're clean, I promise, it ain't but two of them, I swear, it ain't but two, shit, and you went too deep, I think you got some ass in there. <laughs>
<laughs> Women are too rough with the ball sack. Am I rough? No, you fine. You perfect. You fine. I'm going to still be gentler. Oh, no, that's fine. That's cool. My legs don't close when you touch them, they open. Now she gonna have an attitude. This hurt! This hurt! Cause y'all so, uh, y'all swear somebody killing y'all. I'm gonna leave the boss alone. Nah, nah, don't do that. <laughs> nah, do what you been doing. Clearly, y'all got a system worked out. Right, it works. But don't just think you showed up knowing how to handle balls. Hey, okay, look, we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. Let me see your left hand, because the right hand is too strong. <laughs> yeah, well, what, what hand do you use? Your lefty or righty? Uh, uh, use your weak hand. Don't, use the weak hand. Uh, <laughs> you dumb the hands too much for me. <laughs> oh, my God. That shit hit different. I do. When you find somebody, that will clean your balls, keep them forever. Mm -hmm. Never, never, never. Especially if it's at your right setting. Yeah. All right. But you're going to really stand and see where your relationship is. <laughs> That's the real trust. <laughs> if she cleans your balls. Right. Yeah, if she know what she doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to keep you. Listen, that's, that's a mental note. You write that down. It's a checklist. Okay. I was thinking about some shit the other day. Like, women always say men have trust issues. I think that's bullshit. Think of the shit we do. We would put our dick in a mouthful of teeth. <laughs> like, play if that's life. not trust. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the same. <laughs> shit! Oh, it's like when a guy put his head like in the, in the mouth that, of a lion, exactly right? Exactly, like an alligator mouth. Yeah, same thing, taking a chance. <laughs> That's the most dangerous shit you could possibly do. Then why y'all do it so much? Oh, oh my God. Because we stunk now. We're going to take that chance, right? Oh, you like, not you know taking what? no chance. I'm mad. I ain't got to worry about that. Are, yeah. uh, 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 uh. She be beating you. I can tell. You. you see how you move. you like, stop. Don't hit me in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I tell you not to say on that goddamn show? <laughs> I do not. I do not be my baby. No. no. Hell no. Not unless he asked me to. How y'all like in Georgia, man? I know ain't neither one of y'all natives of Georgia. I like it. I like the weather. The I South. don't miss the snow. You don't miss the snow? <clears throat> nah, that shit's some bullshit. We don't fuck yeah. with snow too tough down here. Yeah, no. But it's been snowing a lot more in Atlanta. But this that type of snow, I actually look forward to. Cause then I get a little bit of Cause home. you used to that Detroit snow. Like, oh my God, That's that snow inches. that don't go nowhere. Don't that go shit anywhere. be like right there. You're and you still gotta go to work. Exactly. Gotta go to school, gotta catch the bus. Yeah. Can't no, go. I don't miss the snow. But yeah. I like the South. Um, I like the, <laughs> the rhythm of black entertainment. Yeah. Like it feels good. The energy is just here. Yeah. It's like everybody is a star in their own right. And literally, they, they work here. You know, like people really, you know, are doing things here. So I like that. I don't like the the bugs, though. That's the only thing. It's something with the something with this, the atmosphere right now. It ain't used to be like this. All this really? shit is all new. In that pollen. Jeez. That's oh, yeah, in the pollen. Carbon. Yeah. Home. Got covered in pollen. Mm. We got a lot of shit. It's, we can't talk about it on camera, but the bugs and the pollen. Mm -hmm. All this fucking rain and shit. I'm yeah. telling you, this shit ain't all this shit wasn't happening like that. I've been here since 05. Yeah, oh my goodness. All this shit, they would just start like every summer it was something. And then then they started mixing all this shit together. Mm -hmm. Cause you ain't even pay attention. Like the pollen skipped the summer. Mm -hmm. Yo, we just said that. I'm telling you. We were talking about yeah. this yesterday. Yeah. Did. So why did that happen? It made way for Corona. You are crazy. Is that what you think happened? Uh, it's, see, you get talking. Corona's strong as hell. Hey. It wiped shit. out the pollen. See, they got a new, I might need they to got get a new the one vaccine. out now, though, because enough people didn't get the shit the first time. Mm. Yeah, they didn't take that vaccine? No, I won't. I'm not. Well, this, this shit going to get us deleted, but yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, my bad. <laughs> this shit ain't just. I'm vaccinated. <clears throat> 
How long you been alive? <laughs> when the last time some new diseases came out? Exactly. About that time. Population the control. Was taken, yeah. Population control. Oh, they already do that. That's some, see, that's see, I, mm -mm. see. If they wanted to do that, they got some shit. You could, they could just scrape your, you just, they got a magnifying glass to just show up at your house and you'd just be ants. You'd be at this bitch in three seconds. See, don't say that shit. It's, that's, that's too easy. Don't think we just out here out maneuvering the population control. It's, Cause they got some shit. I believe you. It'd I keep be watching all growing. these movies. They'll just have grass growing up all this shit if they want to. Well, damn. Yeah. We'll just be sitting here and be like, <laughs> Fill it up with concrete, we'll start over. Start over. <laughs> Just better enjoy this shit. That's it, why is it? It's crazy. Nobody promised them. I don't believe shit, bro. I don't believe nothing. I don't believe nothing them people are saying, man. Go check this out. If they got some fucking satellites up there for the cell phones that you can't see, mm -hmm. what the fuck make you think you gonna see the UFOs? They gonna come this close? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that not uh, makes sense, don't you? Like, like the aliens lost. These motherfuckers smart enough to come from 16 galaxies over. Like, oh, we almost went to Earth. Let's disappear on this. It's not <laughs> logical, nigga. Like, left turn, we these missed These motherfuckers Earth. came we out. 30 gazillion light years. And you act like they came right here when we can see them and be like, oh, my bad, my yeah, bad. We ain't fucking with y'all. <laughs> Just stopping by. Made the wrong turn. <laughs> You mean to tell me these motherfuckers smart enough to come from 32 million light years away and crash in the desert? <laughs> Where ain't nothing out there. Exactly. This motherfucker then drove over 16 planets to crash in the... You got me fucked up. Why ain't crash in Brooklyn at the Barclays or some shit? <laughs> he crashed in the desert. It ain't, he no could've body. landed. <laughs> This motherfucker don't run on no gas. <laughs> <laughs> this go from zero to eight million in point, Light point years, right? six <laughs> gazillions <laughs> of a second. <laughs> but he crashed this bitch on some rocks <laughs> and got threw out this motherfucker. <laughs> it ain't even no doors to be thrown out. <laughs> oh, man, you just had an alien crash and got threw out the spaceship. Bitch, what are those? What are you getting thrown out? <laughs> the glass window? <laughs> there ain't no fucking windows on them shits. Wait, is that what they said? Hey, man. <laughs> we found some aliens in the dust. They crashed. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> really? You found them? Hey. That sounds like some shit you say when you stole something. <laughs> hey, look what I found. You ain't found that shit. Where you get that from? <laughs> Don't nobody lose no motherfucker from 13 planets over. Yeah, he went right through the glass. He didn't, he, he didn't have the seatbelt on. Exactly. <laughs> well, how y'all get in the spacecraft? Well, we don't know. Well, how the fuck he get out? Right. <laughs> okay, whatever. This is too smart for these dumbass people. They'll flag this video. Hate speech, propaganda, conspiracy okay. theorists. We this is just shit. I be, you shouldn't have let me smoke this weed. How is it? It's good. It got me thinking about how the fuck them aliens got out there spacecraft. <laughs> and they came from 16 planets over and crashed. <laughs> really? Like they just got tired of driving. Man, I've been driving for I need 16 to pull over. million years. <laughs> I need years. to pull over. Gargamel, wake up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> shouldn't I smoke that last blunt? Nigga, where are we? <laughs> Earth? Nigga, we can't breathe on Earth. They gonna find us. <laughs> Not bad, y'all. <laughs> some scientists, maybe we give them some information that'll keep us alive. <laughs> Let's teach them how to make cell phones. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, they need a microwave. That's the least we can do. <laughs> Shit. Whatever. Yo, this week feel good. What if they do come, though? Like, what if the aliens do come and they just, however they set up, they ain't even gonna be able to see us because we black. 
Like they eyes ain't gonna be able to take in this shade of black. <laughs> what if they just like everybody else? They gonna be scared of <laughs> and just run the fuck out. <laughs> it's okay. So we the aliens to them. Man. They gonna fuck around and come here and be like, take everybody else and just leave us. We're gonna look up and have a whole planet. What we gonna do then? Shit. Well, first, like first couple weeks we go party. Then we got to figure out the economy. Because yeah. nigga gonna start arguing. That motherfucker owe me some money. That's so ass backwards. <laughs> That's coming off the top. Oh, yeah. We'll be making the decisions around here. That's what I'm telling you. I don't know if y'all been watching the news, but that's the next plan for white people. They about to move to another another uh, planet. That's why they sent Jeff Bezos up there to see if it was some money. See if it was some money? Hell yeah. And then Elon Musk, he went up there too, didn't he? He had to go see who needed a Tesla. He only went up there just to see how high he could raise the prices. Let me see. So when do we, so when do we get a chance to go up there? We're not going. <laughs> We're black. We're black. Man, we won't even be here to see it. It'll be 2,000 yeah. years before a nigga even go up there. We won't make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They gonna be tired of it before they start taking up. That's the shit they ain't telling you, though. It's, it's closer than that. Oh, you think? Yeah, it's closer than that. The end? No, I'm saying, like, out of space. Out of space. Oh. Shit closer than you start think. Going. Well, when they start going out of space and we just be watching, by the time. Turn out we can do the same shit. Yeah, but shit. Yeah. Bring me a souvenir. Mm-mm. Don't bring me shit back. <laughs> Keep it where you got it from. If there's some shit that's Somebody up there, it ain't rock. supposed to be down here. Somebody with a moon rock. rock. Yeah, I'm bring you a rock. rock. You can't even breathe in your house no more. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking half all the drown, motherfucker. That shit go in the middle of the night. <laughs> your damn air conditioning shit don't work no more. Man, get that shit out of here. <laughs> Ever since you bought this fucking rock in this shit, don't work. Ever you since you bought this shit in this motherfucker, man. I'm telling you, it's that rock, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that shit? No, yeah, keep that shit. <laughs> Think all the places people go that you don't want, you don't even want shit back from. I want a magnet from every place. Just a little refrigerator magnet. Yeah, and you ain't gonna put them all on there. No, exactly. Actually, we have them in a large freezer bag. They look tacky on the refrigerator now, but back in the day, that was a thing. That's some woman shit, man. I want some magnets shit. for the refrigerator, but I'm not gonna put them on the refrigerator because they tacky. Well, see, back in the day, we used to do that. Now you got the refrigerator, you got the TV. Mm -mm. You got the refrigerator. I thought you were keeping the hood over there. <laughs> My grandma was the candy lady. Don't you understand? We had 700 refrigerator magnets yes. on the refrigerator, yes. and she knew where every last one of them was. Yeah. Uh-uh, where that black chef eating that cookie? Yeah. <laughs> that go on the freezer. <laughs> the ladybug go on the refrigerator. Yeah, my grandma Little was old school kids. candy lady with all the refrigerator magnets. It was Domino's, I Pizza love Hut. any candy yeah. stores with that. Come on, man. I mean, they'd be really in the house. Did y'all do that in New York? Yeah, to have yeah. a coffee yeah. table like that, there'd be yeah. Kit Kats yes. and then Snickers bars. You like. go there right before school. No, my grandma used to have the, uh, the butterscotch. Mm -hmm. the, oh, she was the old school, old school candy lady. It was like the ladies at my church would have the butterscotch and the peppermint, yeah. the nurses. Don't nobody even know where they sell them at. No, oh, the soft ones. Our nurses had the soft ones. If you had the candy canes, they were like, I thought they only gave you them if they was like your grandma or your auntie. You had to be in the, in the elite group of people for them to sneak you candy. You're right. Because <clears throat> they had to be able to trust you in the church because you... To eat it. Yeah. You're right. Because if you get the smack and they'd be like, mm -mm, give me that. Give me that back. <laughs> they gave us that to keep us up. <laughs> we be sleeping. Detroit. The D. New York. It's getting crazy. That's... Eastside. I always love New York. It's like a feeling when, as soon as you land, you hear the music, and the DJ is talking like through the song. Where the hell did you land? In New York. Well, where? The, where did you land in I New York? I said, I always love New York. And the music was... And as soon as you land, it's talking <clears> about New York. As soon as you land, and you know, when you go to New York, 
and you hear the DJ playing the music, you see, you know, all the buildings and the taxis and they drive crazy as fuck. It's just not Yeah, you got to be from there to drive there. Yes, for sure. I got so car sick and I threw up all over that man car. Because it just kept slamming on the brake. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, but if you can drive in New York, you can drive anywhere. Yeah. You can drive in New York, you can drive anywhere. No, if you can park in New York, you can that's drive true. anywhere. Yeah, that's why most people, I used to ask, like, you know, a lot of people don't have cars, but they're doing well. So I'm like, why you ain't got a car? The parking is crazy. You just take the transit system, you know, you just ride the subway. Well, you don't ride the subway no more. Hell no. Hell no. I don't blame them. <laughs> I want to end That shit like going subway. down to a bathroom. It's just like being in the bathroom the whole time. And just waiting. That's it. That's why people be so glad to get to their stop. They be like, I'm going to run upstairs and get some air. <laughs> too much going on in the goddamn. He said that, though. He was like, you're not going <clears> to <throat> like it yeah. when you get on there. It's way too much. It's motherfuckers down there selling snacks, playing the drums. Yeah. Rats see, but that's why I wanted to see. No, I want to see the rats. But I wanted this to see the people. Day. You know how they be dancing on it? Uh, what, Kid the Wiz? How they, how they dance, and then you have the people the out there playing the buckets and all that. Yeah, but just just go down to Times Square. That's it. F- fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, Not the subway. The she won't like the train. Mm-mm. Yeah. She be down there talk cleaning and shit. Cause New like <laughs> I don't know how it is pre-pandemic, but like before all this, sh- like before all this, motherfuckers would get right on that bitch and stand right, right next to you. And it don't matter where you're going, at one point, this bitch gonna be all the way full. Oh, and that. even when you think it's full, That's when it's we two more out. stops. And you're like, man, I know the fuck that. <laughs> you ain't gonna add no more people on this track. Yeah. <laughs> still gonna pull it. There's <laughs> one nigga on that bitch every time. He sleep, sleep. Now he like he just got out work and he's he like, well, I wonder where the fuck he going. <laughs> Well, he could just but he know sleep. exactly how long to be asleep. To wake up first. That nigga just wake up and get the fuck out. He was like, that nigga slept for Catch 13, his stop too. 13 stops. <laughs> Man, that shit crazy. That's the out of all the shit to do in New York, that's probably the most adventurous shit you could do. Yeah, that's what I told him. Like, just take me, you know, from one stop to the next. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Don't do it. Cause he he going he ain't gonna know how this shit gonna. He gonna flash out. Cause the mother- it's too many memories. Yeah, it's, a it's a certain way you gotta ride that motherfucker so people don't get in your way. Right. I ask you for some shit. Cause okay. it's weird. Some people get on that bitch, you be like, what the fuck going on? I'm talking about <laughs> get right on the train, chain clothes, everything, pants and all this shit. You're like, what the fuck, son? <laughs> or they pull out a meal, start eating right there, whole train. On the train? Like, on the train. Wow. On the train. Stand, people standing over while you eating. It's always one lady with way too much shit. Yeah. <laughs> way too up. much shit. Ain't no way in the fuck she traveling with, with this much this. shit. Then this one random ass white dude, he's like, he gotta be the police. Cause what the fuck is he doing on this part of the train? <laughs> he watching. He been doing this shit all day. <laughs> and then as soon as you think shit normal and the train pull off, there's always one dude, excuse me. Yeah, always. Excuse me, I don't mean to bother nobody. <laughs> what does he mean? Something. Something. Uh, anything you got. That's right. I'm not asking for anything, but if you could do something, money, food, water, whatever you got. Just out loud. Shit. It's like that. That, that train is something else, man. <laughs> you fuck around and be eating on that bitch if you want to. Now, that take guts. <laughs> Yeah. That's what that's she wanted to see. see. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the Blue Waffle. Shout out to Kid the Wiz and, and On Star and all them, man. And yeah. those carts don't be looking full like that. Shit, like, probably not no more, but. Yeah, yeah when they, yeah. they look That rush pharmacy. out would be crazy. Shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That rush out would be crazy. That's why I like it down here, man. Yeah, yeah. in Georgia. Yeah. I like Georgia. I fucking love Georgia. There's something about this place. It's, it ain't even, it, it, you know, it's just something about it. What you like about it? Everything. The weather. Every time I leave, I be want to come back. But you from Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah, I just so went there. So you used to the warm weather. I just went there. My family's from Canton. Yeah, I'm from Oxford, North Park. Is that near Jackson? Nope. No, so Jackson would be like the most In the city. middle. In the middle, yeah. My shit like straight up, I like a little bit right here. 
That shit about an hour and a half away. You go there a lot? To where? Mississippi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, when I can. Because it ain't really like, you can't really fly there. You kind of, I don't know. It's like you can fly to Canada, but you still got to drive. Drive there. when you get there. So. Yeah. I just left, though. I just did back to school drive. All this <clears throat> You know, giving back to the community. That's right. Good stuff. Good stuff like that. That's all. Back to school, get the kids straight. That's it. They the future. From what I was told, you know. Got to invest in them properly. That's sure. right. That's how you do it. I heard that. I feel good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You didn't get high. I know. It's hot. The weed didn't kick in. It kicked in, man. This is when I turn on 85 South. For real? Yo, I'm on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They laugh about the couch, they know. You gonna fuck around and be high and see that shit, he be like, oh shit, I'm on here. What the <laughs> fuck did I say? Oh. Oh Tell God. yourself something I... in the future. See, oh. this shit you can't do on TV. You can do this shit I on TV. I know, this, that's so dope. Okay, cool. Don't vacuum every 30 minutes. Just watch the show. Don't Windex, just smoke the weed. That's, what, that's your shit? What, Windex and Hitting vacuum? vacuum? Oh, everything. <laughs> You can get addicted to the sound of that shit. Vacuum? Yep. You use it even for the babies. My nephews or my nieces come over, vacuum the floor, it calms them down. But You're not alone. Either. I got a handheld vacuum. I just wish some crumbs would <laughs> just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it be. Hell yeah. yeah. Got the little brushes on the front, so you need to just hit a little circular action. Exactly. Yeah. My dad can do that. Got the yeah. little. You, you know, ever be petty when you back in? We be like, I know the fuck something didn't. Oh no, let me kick it right. <laughs> yeah, bitch. I kick some shit back over there. Yeah, start Same. taking pride in that shit. Start hitting the corner. <laughs> using all the little brushes and all that. This old nigga shit. Yeah. These young niggas don't vacuum. Nah. They just kick shit in the corner. Yeah. Push it under the bed. <laughs> Tell the niggas get some water up with his sock. <laughs> that bit all up. Yeah, it's that like, young nigga shit. <laughs> or they just run out and leave it. Exactly. <laughs> and you walk in the room like, who the hell done spilled this water on the floor? Mm. Everybody gone. Kick the little ice under the refrigerator. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Y'all got some animals and shit? We had a, uh, well, we got a we dog. We had a dog. But I had to give the dog away. Well, because the dog is from my youngest, so we have a 22-year-old, 17-year-old, and an 11-year-old. So the 11-year-old begged and begged for the dog. So it went very expensive dog. This dog was... That's the first thing you shouldn't have did. Everybody who know anything about dogs, the cheaper your dog is, the better. People get so caught up in the name and the breed. You need a dog that's just a dog. No, like first, we I like a to get a dog. dog with no. Nah, see, that ain't a good dog. And we wanted a well-behaved dog. And we pretty dogs a dog. not well-behaved. They bad bitches of dogs. <laughs> we got a boy, so we got a boy. He's still like, I'm a good-looking dog. I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do. Yeah. You gotta get a dog that don't nobody want. That's gonna appreciate being part of a family structure. <laughs> when you first get your dog, it need to be ugly, and you gotta say, I don't know. It's still young. We got to see what it's going to look like. No, because I wouldn't play with it. If you nurture that dog and you feed it right, that dog would be so loyal to that family. So we had a bougie dog, huh? Yeah, you got the wrong kind. You need to get a dog. To just, what kind of dog is that? Just privileged, dog. Huh? What kind of dog was it, man? We had a cabochon. See? It, privileged. That dog got a, a breed, a name, grandma, pedigree. Uh -uh. <laughs> Give him some regular food, he push that shit away. You it gotta was a get a, You got to get a, a dog that's just a dog. Yeah, he's bougie. And, and Prince was so beautiful. He just, it wasn't his fault though. He was a good dog. It was because it was my daughter's responsibility. And so after he got big, cause we asked for a toy dog. See? So he's supposed to be small. Mm -hmm. This dog got big as his table. They said so, he won't grow two months later right. like this. Huge. So my daughter didn't want to <laughs> mess with him. And so I had to bathe the dog. Cause I don't like the dog. I gave the dog a bath probably four times a week. And I want him to be clean. I want him to eat, go outside, use the bathroom, come back in, and sit down somewhere. And so anything more than that, she had to do. So when she stopped doing it, I started feeling bad for the dog. Because I'm like, basically, all he's doing is getting bathed, 
getting fed, taken out, and sitting in a cage. So. Mm -hmm. The dog had a life that was too good. The dog didn't appreciate being in the family. He didn't appreciate it. No, he wasn't being appreciated. All right, try it. Get an ugly dog next time with no name. When the people you get it from, what kind of dog is this? Uh, I believe the mama was a Labrador or a Beagle. And the daddy, I'm pretty sure, was a Rockwilder Poodle mix. That's a good ass dog. That sounds like a mess. When the people don't even know how big it's gonna get, like, it might be a puppy, but it might be grown. <laughs> That's funny. That you know sounds like a mess. I'm gonna show you. I'm getting me a dog. Just a no breed, just a dog. Some mutt. Half a tail. Blue eye and a green eye. Now how you gonna look one at that? One ear up, one ear down like this. <laughs> they don't know what the hell wrong with this dog. Collar won't even fit his neck. <laughs> See, you wouldn't even want to play with that dog. Yes, the hell I would, because he know <laughs> tricks that I didn't teach him. He played frisbee. <laughs> He play tennis ball. He lay right here. Let me see his stomach. The dog roll over like this. Exactly. Talk to him just like you talk to you. Put your foot down. <laughs> Who taught him this shit? Hell no. <laughs> Sound like a circus hey, dog. be proud of our dog for little shit. I've been yeah. telling people on this show for weeks about the excellent shit white people dog can do. Black people, we think our dog trained just because he went and laid down when you said, hey, get your ass over there and lay down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, he listened. Yeah, Look, we he filmed listening. it and everything. And then he go lay down and he be like, see? See, it work. Yeah. <laughs> that dog know I don't fuck around. <laughs> That's exactly how I was, too. That dog know who boss. Sit your ass down over there and be quiet. <laughs> then he turn around, he shit in the same spot. <laughs> Take that. And start hitting on his wife. <laughs> the white people dog know CPR and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Bryson, give me a band-aid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe me, watch some of them videos online, bro. White I people mean, be like, I, I watched the Grinch. They look right in the camera. I'm going to act like I'm passing out, see what my dog does. <laughs> Come here, boy. <gasps> Pass out. Goddamn dog stand up, start doing this on their chest and everything. Good boy. Good boy. Got the compressions down the back. Dog the dog done. The dog done listening to everything. <laughs> hey, don't be giving them mouth to mouth, Man, right? Big so dogs do, do some amazing me. shit. Our dog don't do they shit. They be kissing dogs in the mouth. That's like mouth to mouth. That's probably how you get them to learn. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hell no. That's why black people dogs ain't been learning shit. Exactly. Dog ain't yeah. shit you said until you get some sugar. Dog be sitting there like, come on, bro. Come on, man. You know what I need, man. You want me to really learn this shit? Come on. That's so nasty. <laughs> That's, That's how Prince was, right? Every time Prince was over. Yeah, our dog kept, whenever I would come around, he, that, doggy penis come out. <laughs> I don't the, like it. That's the first thing right there. Yeah, <laughs> yes. you, you had to get rid of that dog. He had to go. I was yeah, like, no. Only one penis that. get hard in this house. Hey, brother, and that's mine. Fuck right. that dog. No disrespect, man. No disrespect, uh, bruh, bruh. Bruh. She keep picking me up and shit. <laughs> I told her that. Why she be rubbing on me then? No. If she don't want it, tell her leave it. Raymond hey. told me, stop picking the dog hey. up. Hey. Stop picking that dog up, man. Hey. What's wrong with you? Hey. That's why they came home one day, he was gone. Bruh. <laughs> See? It was me and you, buddy. <laughs> he was one in the car. This house. He was driving in the car trying to explain. Bruh, I ain't know that was your lady, bruh. <laughs> Should have thought about that shit. Ah, <laughs> shit. Man, this nigga done left my little... Can I get my bag? Nope. <laughs> That's it in the trunk with the other shit. You out of here. No, we kept him in the family. My hairdresser hey, has him. So the we... kids at school, I can't say bye to the... Oh, nah. Bro, get my little sweater she got for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I sent all his stuff, though. Yeah, you out of yeah, here, Yeah, that was the real reason. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't want him back. See? A mutton dog would have never tried you like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Little special ones. Little exactly. fluffy, cute ones. See? Don't buy no more expensive dog, man. Dog yeah. don't cost no more than six hundred dollars, man. No, this dog was sixty eight hundred dollars. See? Who the fuck is petty like that? You already selling the dog for six thousand dollars. What you need that eight hundred for? Right. 
<laughs> that's what I said. I wasn't agreeing that 800. I'm like, I, the most I can do is six, man. That 800, that's what I hate. Yeah, you, you that. breaking me, man. Yeah. I can't do that. Oh, you better throw in some shit. Doggy hey, shampoo. No, 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 they did, though. You and then I, get get the, I got the insurance and all that stuff. Insurance? Well, yeah. dogs are expensive when they go to the vet. So you want to have that what? They put a little microchip in them so if the case yeah, you lose so them, they get, can find Yeah, them. we got all the bills and whistles for yeah. him so My that... My kid don't even got no microchip You put a microchip in a dog that you gave away. Well, no, no. Now He's you with know my exactly what it is and don't even want it. <laughs> I wouldn't. That's too much of a That's commitment. That's how we keep track of it. Make sure it ain't by our house. Nah, he's somewhere else. He hey, man. Somewhere. If your dog run away, he's in, he where he wanted to be. I agree. He ran away three times, is, but he kept coming this back. This is how deep racism is. It don't matter how good you treat your dog as a black person. They will leave you for some white people. <laughs> Take your dog to the park where some white people be. No, each your time dog he will run the fuck away. Hey, Prince, get your ass over here. He run right up to that white family to be playing like, please take me with you, bro. These niggas don't even feed me vegan pup chow. Prince, get over here. Get your ass over here. White people got your that? dog. Why are you yelling at him like that? You know what? I'm just going to take this doggy with me. He didn't have to yell at you like that. That's what we told him three times. Yeah. White people had him. In our subdivision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, had, we had to come back because, you know, the girls wanted him. I was like, he gone. That's it. He ain't going to come I back. I started to over. think that he was letting him loose. Because, I mean, the way that he is in our yard. He tried to leave y'all, too? No, but I thought that Raymond was letting the dog loose. Because when I would come and Raymond say, the dog's gone. I'm like, how he gone? He was in his cage. He was outside. He was like, he jumped out the cage. I think he was trying to get rid of the dog, but the dog kept coming back. The security at the gate brought him to the, the gate. to the house. That's like the, the Santana's, here's, here's your dog. <laughs> Raymond was pissed. I slide to the gate like, listen, buddy. This how so you work. really had to take the heat for this dog. Because oh, yeah. I, I know you was offended when she was like, he keeps he keep letting him out. Like, you think I really would? If I was trying, he would have been out of there. That's what he did to our middle child's turtle. No. Ooh, man, she know now. Be- Stop. They watching the show. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, these kids gonna Your be like, dad oh, really? <laughs> wow, Mr. Wiggle. <laughs> it be your own family, man. I'm sorry. It be your own family. Listen, my motto be, you don't gotta stay here. You can go. <laughs> yeah. Open the door. You wanna leave? See you later, buddy. So he let the turtle leave because he knew the turtle. The turtle moves very slowly. No, it doesn't. That's a scam. My turtle's been pulling out for years. Exactly. So we had the impression that the turtle the wouldn't go out the door. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. Within five minutes, we looked. The turtle was out the door, off the deck, and out in the golf course somewhere. That's because turtles are faster than you think. They only run when they want to. He knew that. And I said, why I'm talking about you the turtle might stand there? there for two hours and take off and like on your ass, like, straight gone. That's what happened. Ain't no catching no that turtle for real. That's what happened. Turtles be moving slow, go like, man, fuck it. I'm probably like 100 years old. These niggas don't know or not. Bam, still got it, and just bounce on your ass. Like, they real niggerish when they want to be. That's how it went down. I let him out, he was on the deck. No, he didn't work that turtle I turned him around, he was gone. I was like, this is That's like, how they do you. Turtle Houdini, gone, out of here. See you later, buddy. Hope you so, make it. <laughs> see, and he wasn't upset he didn't go try to look for it. Damn. Nah. Yeah. Listen, you don't got to be here if you don't want to. You can leave. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says to all the animals. Well, you know animals going to always choose the streets. <laughs> Just something about them streets that animals about fuck the street with. Freedom. Get the taste. They gone. <laughs> Y'all going to do some more TV shit? Yeah. We got some things in the works. Like what? Is it too early to talk about? No, no, not at all. I mean, the people that have reached out to us that have an interest in us, they want us to do something, obviously, about our family, he and I being together. We got together so fast, so um, we did the couple's retreat, and so people want to see what's happening since, so. How was it for you, for the couple's retreat? It was cool. It was cool. Um, Look, bro, you can come back to the trap whenever you want to and just talk your <laughs> shit, because... No, I love the trap. I know, man. They had took y'all to the couple's retreat and shit. I know you couldn't say, God damn, man. <laughs> Just 
to where you can come back and talk your Ray shit. Ray J was doing it. He was already making it hot, so we yeah, couldn't do we it. Yeah, we had Just chill, fun. let him go off. Ray J was hilarious. Yeah, and so. Michael Blackson. Yeah. All of them, we had a good time on Compass Richard. You had cool. fun, though, didn't No, it was cool, though. We had, some, we had some fun, though. Yeah. I mean, it was a break from the pandemic because our jobs... Anytime we couldn't somebody go out. say Ray J, I always want to be like, Ray J got scooty bikes. <laughs> Ray J got everything. The nigga sell Raycon the earphones. Yeah, he had yeah, a, a lot of business. Yeah. 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 So the couples retreat, that shit was dope. It was, it was cool. cool. It was fun. It was a break, like I said, a break from the norm. Get out the house, stand to get around couples because we had just got married. So yeah. in the pandemic. During the pandemic, so it was. So it, it was. So it was like, oh. We needed some. We needed that break to get away and then just get some alone time. Because even though we was in the pandemic, we constantly had people coming over, like family was still coming to visit. But that up. part of it was the good part. That part was good, but the pandemic Itself. it put us in a situation where we had to like learn each other quickly. Yeah, because you had to be there all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was so different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like yeah. so different when. You know, any other time you're at work, majority of the day, and then when you're home, you're up just for a few hours, then you're sleeping. And so in passing, and his job was on the road, and mine was too. Yeah. So whenever we're together, it was just like. Yeah, it's just pop. Oh, yeah, that's like a little freak, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so then, then we after got the, the pandemic, pandemic, it was like. Ugh. I'm like, you help me take my weave out? He like, that's not your Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 hood nigga. Sometimes he probably I'm won't. Sometimes I'm like, hey, we ain't gonna take that weave out. No, but then I took it off and then I shaved my hair. He looking like, what the fuck? <laughs> I said, for better or worse. So we have some different now, we know. <laughs> no, I was just on some starting fresh. So I wanted. That's extreme as hell. But you know what? Most women, they go through those phases where they want to cut their hair off and they do it. They might not even wear that hairstyle, just sometimes for new growth, because you got dead hair, or sometimes for a new energy. Right. But for me, it was for both. Right. So I, I did that. And then he started snoring. After that, you stressed him. No, out. during the pandemic, before that, he didn't <laughs> snore. He was yeah, but you, get, you cut all your hair off. He was like, fuck it. I'm tired, tired now. <laughs> Ooh, shit. This bio. No. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't saying that. turn it off, right? Oh, my God, that shit's killing me. <sighs> he starts sleeping for real, man. Yeah. That is head. not, no. Like, fuck it, she bald headed. He said, for better words. She, she can't go nowhere now. Nah, girl, I ain't gonna need some sleep. Exactly. <laughs> Which the fuck you would waking me up talking about some snoring? Eh? Eh? Oh, ball yeah. headed. <laughs> right. Snow even loud on the other side. And that's what he and would do. Boom, fuck you gonna do? <laughs> that, uh, yes. Like, what? You gonna leave me? <laughs> right. We in a pandemic. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Either yeah, we gonna yeah. break up or we gonna get married. Go to the other side of the house and relax, right? Now we can say that. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Shit. Yeah. So it's different. It's good. Just but it was fun. Yeah, of course, man. It's good. Just like I said, black love. Celebrate it. Need to see more of it. Especially if you can survive this shit through the pandemic and still be in love, man, that's, that's some real shit, I guess. I guess they, they give you like five years, don't it? Yeah. A pandemic? That's got to be at least good no, for five No, yeah, the years. only thing with that, now it's hard, like, to separate. Yeah. Shit, don't. Fuck it. It's about to start over again anyway. Wait till part two hit. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> no, but I smoke weed now, so we good, but we good. Okay. Yeah. 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 About to be some real sleeping. Now you about to start snoring. <laughs> no, I don't really like sleepy weed. Like indicas are cool. I like sativa. I do. I like sleepy weed. Yeah. I want to see how long I can stay up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you ever get so high you just wake up? You don't remember going to sleep? <laughs> Woo, nigga! How long I been asleep? <laughs> Boy, I been asleep eight hours. It been thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Get high enough, you'll fall asleep any goddamn way. You'll be sleeping in this chair, just like this, for eight fucking hours. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's Ronnie A B. A whole night's sleep, just like this. Yeah, that's Ronnie that's B. Ronnie B. That's yeah. Ronnie B. Every nigga done woke up, nigga been in the living room, lights on, TV on, loud in the motherfucker, knocked out. Hey, man, you gonna get in the bed? No, I'm straight, bro, I'm straight. I'm sleeping right now. Now, the person who doesn't get in the bed is me. Yeah. Because this weed is new to me. 
So I smoke it late at night. And, and just sleep so wherever you fall asleep. But I get so creative. And she starts I start, working. I love doing comedy and stuff. And watching y'all show. And I start I filming. I seen you on TikTok. I swear I'm in love with this little Derek character. Jason Banks. Jason Banks. You know what's crazy? Me, um, and he had did uh, he had did the feature spot for me a couple years ago at, in Cleveland or some shit. I was like, dude, funny as hell. For real? Yeah. Like then, I fuck with him. I knew it then. Then this nigga take off. I was like, salute to Jason Banks. I told you, boy. Yeah. I be out here. I be discovering shit. Oh yeah. No, I ain't discovering. He was dope. Daily. He actually he put a you know a new energy for me. Yeah. yeah. And you know, within myself, because what are you like gonna I do said, the baby starts crap. I'm gonna punch that baby in the fucking face. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not. You're right. No, I'm not. And then he still fuck her up. Exactly. Yeah, Derek bad as fuck. <laughs> Derek and Amy and Chad. Yeah, I used to come downstairs. Like, it's five in the morning. You still recording? And then she started showing me the videos, and I was like, oh, that's dope. See, that's, that's why, why I don't even make TikToks. I just watch them. It take too much dedication. Like, oh, that's no, good. we do. I might be up. I start at midnight. I yeah. finish around 5 a.m. See, that's how high I be. By the time I be done with it, I be like, you know what? On the end, fuck it. Yeah, it'd be sun coming out. Yeah, that's how she be. Yeah. I wake up. She not in the bed. I gotta go get her. I know where she at. She downstairs. You ain't finished that damn TikTok yet, right? Let's go to bed. Did I get all my shit done? Yeah, she get it done though. We everything I need get done. That's the music here I'm playing right here. <laughs> I feel like that's the music that be playing when they tell you what's really going on at the job. Did you hear what happened to Casey? <laughs> what? <laughs> they caught her in the bathroom doing coke. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> when? <laughs> Wednesday, you were off, right? Oh, yeah. They brought the drug dogs in and everything. Casey, Jeff, John, all of them. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I miss that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> you used to be dancing like this. All right, man, cool. <laughs> oh shit. Raymond Santana. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I got my shirt, Central Park 5. Shit is crazy. Y'all see, we back on tour, Ghetto Legends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me sit up, man. My microphone might fuck around and fall out. You know how that shit is. <laughs> we got that good tape. That's so Uh-oh, cat got a question. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> for me, it was difficult in the beginning because you're a 14-year-old kid. And to be viewed like like Ken Burns said, we were the most hated, we were the five most hated individuals in 1989. You know what I'm saying? And so to be a kid and not fully understand that, not fully understand that Donald Trump takes out the $85,000 uh, page ad calling for the reinstatement of the death penalty for us, right? Um, not understanding that there are over 400 articles written about us within the first two weeks of this case, dissecting the lives of 14 to 15 year old kids. Right, they was painting this picture of super predators and wilding and wolf pack. And so, not to really fully understand a lot of that until I'm well deep in prison and then I'm older and I go through this college course and I deal with mass incarceration and just see everything, the whole thing, the whole picture. And then I start to understand that this was part of the plan, right, to lock up black and Latino kids because the system rather have us occupy a jail cell than a college dorm. And so, I didn't want to be bitter. I wanted to channel that energy. And, I, and for me, it was about looking at the system and what they did to us and how they charged us, uh, tried us, and convicted us within two and a half years. But now we were grown <coughs> men, and we felt like, now you got to deal with us for the rest of your life. So we channeled, I channeled that anger. And it was about how do I get myself on a platform where every morning these people that did this to us, they got to see us, whether it's on TV, whether it's on social media, whether it's dealing with politicians, or just see, picking up a book and see that it, we are in the book, or, um, you know, it was just about occupying these mediums so that you, you can box them in. That was, that was part of the victory. That was part of, 
you know, the give back, right? And then ultimately it was about being happy, right? That became the best form of success. The best form of revenge was to be happy. You know what I'm saying? That's that shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Do that shit. Nah, so, you know, at the Outfits. end of the day. Yeah, all that. All that. You know, my life, you know, to look at my life and, and to feel blessed you know, to, to overcome all these, ma these major obstacles and still be alive and still got my wits and still be able to talk about it and express it and just to live a happy life. You know what I'm saying? To wake up every morning and look over and be like, shit, nigga, ma I married this. That's part of the blessing. That's part of being happy. That's part of taking control and, and creating your own narrative and controlling your narrative and never let, never let them speak for you. That's what this whole show is about. Oh, baby. Where else can you hit this shit? <laughs> Nowhere. The number one show for black people yes. in America. That's right. Exactly. Especially ones who wear flip flops around the house. <laughs> if you ever had a pair of Air Force One house shoes, it's your show. I didn't even know they made them. Yeah. Popping in Detroit, too. All, all around Detroit. House shoes? This show? Oh. I'm talking about the liquor store that sell house shoes. Uh -huh. They play this show. And you know that store. Yeah. Detroit liquor stores sell everything. Mountain bikes, living room sets, <laughs> flat screen. They have aquarium set up. You can buy the whole aquarium with the fish already all in, in it. at the liquor store. Let's put that in the truck. You can, you can furnish a whole apartment at the liquor store. Yeah. They got lawn chairs. It's like a Walmart <laughs> at the liquor store. We do got one on East Warren. It's one of my favorite cities. Yeah. We fucks with it. Shout out to Detroit and all the potholes in the whole state of Michigan. The whole state of Michigan. Brutal ass potholes. Yeah. It's real bad now. They've been underwater a lot. Um, For real? Detroit, mm, yeah, been a lot flooding. Of flooding. A lot of flooding. I ain't even heard nothing <laughs> about this. Like serious flooding. Yeah. I gotta get my news back on. <laughs> my research department has been down. How long this shit been going on? Um, for about the last month, they've had these floods, maybe three. Y'all had three of them? Back to back. They started pulling jet skis and boats out. On the freeway. Nigga, Detroit freeway. niggas on jet skis. Jet skis. They canoeing on the freeway. On the freeway. <laughs> on the freeway. <laughs> they fishing <laughs> off on the freeway. <laughs> right, ain't oh, no yeah, damn fish. fish. He had his fish tied up and he walking in the water. <laughs> tied up. It's a video. Man, send me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's my city, though. I'm sick of oh, the Oh, you know, on, on some real shit, though, Detroit taking over the rap game. It's a whole lot of rappers Hello. coming out of Michigan Hello. that's got the game on fire, oh, man. Yeah. I fucks with a lot of them. Oh, Detroit is so hot right now. Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. The whole state. Yep. Yeah. Turning up. Shout out to the Coochie Man. That's my dog. How the fuck you thick with no ass? How the fuck you thick with no ass? I love that nigga, man. That nigga music just hit different. He be saying some off the wall shit. Bitch pulled up with a big bag. She tried to move in. <laughs> <laughs> man, you gotta fuck with it, man. YNJ, Coochie Man. Mm. Oh, yeah. We gotta get him on here. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm listening to a lot of these niggas. That's funny. BFB Pac Man. Fucks with him. Yeah. He say some wild shit, too. Mm -hmm. He even fun. Yeah. Love that shit. He's funny too. You know my nigga, the young nigga out of Detroit I fuck with, Babyface Ray. Yes, he popping right now. Hell yeah. Bitch don't call my phone no more. <laughs> Go call that other nigga. It's a love song. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to a lot of them niggas, but they all into a lot of beef, so you can't really say a whole lot of their names. Cause if you say one, you gotta say the other. Well, I fuck with all of them. I know. I always but... have. They've always come into the station and done interviews. And... Yeah, it's you. Yeah. I'm... You put on for the for the D. Yeah. Like, I support all of them. I really wish the beef would just, like, go away because they're so talented. 
And I'm not just saying that because I'm from there, but. No, I'm some real Detroit. shit. And it's just like now the world is really like starting to catch up. And like, nigga, this shit been going on. There's so many niggas that's from, like you said, that's just from there. They just got that familiar ass sound. Yep, they do. This light about dead. We done about killed a whole lighter doing this shit. <laughs> what y'all got coming up? What we can find? What can they find y'all social media wise? And all of that type of shit. You can follow me on um, TikTok. Oh shit. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, they're all, all I Am that So shit. Delicious. But they're all the same name. Okay. Yep, what I Am So Delicious. Yeah. yeah, and mine's in Santana, Raymond. Yeah. You be on that dog shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I'll be laughing. I see everything. <laughs> I, I am the gatekeeper. I'll be lurking every goddamn way. Sometimes you got to, though. Yeah, we oh, be yeah. turning up. Yeah. You got to do that, man. It keeps shit vibrant, man. People don't take that shit too serious. Because, you know, a lot of people, that's their whole life. But you got to have a real life, too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And we try to have fun because we both have our businesses. I have my clothing line. He has his clothing line. So we still have to be parents. So we like, yo. When all this is done, you know, have some fun, be some real people and turn up. Yeah. But look, man, I know this y'all first time in the trap, but don't let it be your last time, man. Y'all see y'all always- We coming back. Y'all always got some dope shit going on, man. You be popping up and- how, how the guys, man? No, they good, man. They good. Um, Kev gonna come down to the day, come visit, so we gonna hook up with the fellas, talk, kick it, you know? But everybody's in good spirits, man. Yeah. You know, just one day at a time, man. Hell yeah. You know? That's how you get shit fucked up. Be out here trying to live two days at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna work. Hell no. <laughs> J-O-N, bro, you gonna stop being stingy too, bro. And I'm gonna stop telling people I'm gonna fire you because I know it's making you a rebellious spirit. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, bro. But I am gonna get Alexa for when you be on that bullshit. <laughs> and if you just can't understand that, whole perspective is whack. <laughs> Delicious. Miss Santana? Yes, Carlos. Raymond Santana? <laughs> this is the 85 South Show, man. Mr. Oh, Trap, y'all don't work with me any time. Yeah, I told y'all, y'all dope as hell. Y'all hood legends. Thank you. And we ghetto legends, so it just makes <laughs> sense. We bring the ghetto legends through here. Yes. Hell yeah. And the, Cause your ass be everywhere. You on like, you on, I seen you on some barbershop shit with yeah. the hairstyles. And, <laughs> Yeah. Magazines, I'm like, what the fuck? And videos and all yeah, types I'm of shit. I'm trying to get some my bread. I thought, would you on the perm box one time? No. Okay. That was, well, they got some hood perms with you on there. I was about to I don't even <laughs> think you had a perm, perm box, on the box, but. but <laughs> I know I seen. Some hair I did see you on a bonnet cap logo one time. Oh, that was in the hood. You might not even got paid for that. <laughs> Yeah, I, seen you, I seen you on some shit at the liquor store a bunch of times, too. I, I, they probably ain't pay you for that one, neither. So I'm just saying, you everywhere that some hood shit is going on. You know how many club flyers you been on and you wasn't at the party? Yeah. They still using that picture. I'm just letting you know now. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so I found some old magazines and she was in them shit. Exactly. Like, yeah, but these are the ones that he decided Photoshop to keep. When first came out, they was using your legs and everything. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Come on, let's take a picture like we had the family yeah. here. <laughs> we can sit down. We grown. We old. He 46. Yeah, yeah. He, didn't want, he wasn't ready to stand up yet. <laughs> the hip moved different at 46. Oh, miss, all we missing is some brown leg. <laughs> That's good. Hold up, y'all get one too. Put one on the on the wall. Wait, do we look high? Bruh, this nigga is walking a catfish. <laughs> <laughs>